advice for any person who is new to hospice advocacy is to tell your story and to tell it from the heart and tell it from your experience and what you know to be true because that is what really needs to be explained to the legislators, to their staff, and even to regulators because people don't know what we really do in hospice. There are a lot of myths and misunderstandings. And so to be a true advocate is really to tell the truth. By working together with congressional leaders, it really does become a collaboration that they know that we've heard areas of importance to them and to their constituents, and that we have the opportunity to share with them what we believe is important for us to be able to continue our work and evolve our work in ways that continue to meet the needs for their constituents, uh, the patients and families who live in their uh, districts and for the providers who carry out the work there. What I've learned about myself from being a hospice advocate is that my voice really does matter and that I don't have to know policies inside out to be able to really get home what is important about hospice care and how much it can influence people and change lives, incredibly change lives. Um, so I've learned that um, I, if I'm just sincere and honest and speak from my heart and lead with my heart, that there are just tremendous opportunity to really talk to legislators, to have them hear about the real people that this touches. There's actually nothing more American than the hospice benefit because we collectively believe that dying with dignity is a right and not a privilege. And that is why I am committed as a leader within the hospice and palliative care community to do all that I can do to advocate to preserve and protect the integrity and longevity of the Medicare hospice benefit. Advocacy has a very special part in the work that we do to achieve the success that we do and the longevity. Hospice is the only program that still receives 100% reimbursement from Medicare. And I feel that it is necessary that I get out there and stand up for those that I serve. It's a picture of my mom's hospice nurse, who was also my dad's hospice nurse. She is shaving him the day of my mother's funeral because he didn't have the strength to shave himself. This picture to me is the epitome of hospice care. I don't know of any other healthcare setting where a registered nurse would shave someone who was too weak to shave themselves. That to me is why we do what we do. Um.